quarter, module one, describing motion. The most essential learning competencies that we need to develop in this module is to describe the motion of an object in terms of distance or displacement, speed or velocity, and acceleration. Kapag sinabi natin motion sa Tagalog, ito ay paggalaw. But in science, we need to properly define the word motion. Pero bago iyon, we need to know how are we going to describe the position of an object. Kapag pinahanap ka ni nanay ng isang bagay sa bahay, mas mabilis mo iyong mahahanap kapag alam mo ang exact location nito. Ganon din sa pag-describe ng motion ng isang object. Dapat alam mo muna ang position nito bago at pagkatapos gumalaw. Kapag i-describe natin ang position ng isang object, we use propositions o yung part of speech na nagsasabi ng position ng isang bagay katulad ng words na under, over, beside, up, down, and the like. Gagamit mo rin yung mga cardinal directions like north, east, south, and west. And even the words left, right, forward, backward ay magagamit mo para dito. Aside from using grids to describe the position of an object, we can also describe it using number lines or diagrams like this one. In this diagram, we will describe the position of an object with regards to a reference point. The reference point in this diagram is the house, located at zero. Kung ano ang reference point mo, iyon dapat ang nasa zero. Tignan natin yung mga numbers to the left of zero. Makikita natin na these have negative signs. Ang ibig sabihin ng negative sign is that it is on the left side. So, yung tree located sa negative 20 meters, it means that it is located 20 meters to the left of the reference point which is the house. Yung nasa right side naman ay mga positive numbers kasi nasa kanan sila. Let's try to identify the positions of different objects from the reference point. Number one, what is the position of the dog? Mula sa bahay, saan nakapwesto yung dog? Based on the number line, ang dog ay nasa left side ng bahay. It is located at negative 30 meters or gaya ng sabi natin kanina. Ang ibig sabihin ng negative sign ay nasa left side. So, pwede mo rin isagot ang 30 meters to the left of the house. Number two, what is the position of the tree? Mula sa bahay, the tree is located at negative 20 meters or 20 meters to the left of the house. For number three, what is the position of the car? Ang car ay located sa right side ng bahay. Based on the diagram, it is located at 20 meters or 20 meters to the right of the house since positive number siya. And lastly, what is the position of the school? The school can be found here. It is located at 30 meters to the right of the house. Reference point can be changed. Depende sa gusto mong gawing bataya ng position ng object. Sa example natin kanina, ang reference point natin ay yung bahay na nasa zero. In our next example, we will show how we will describe the position of objects kapag binago natin ang reference point. Just remember, kung ano ang reference point, iyon dapat ang gagawin natin zero. Kasi, iyon ang batayan natin ang position ng isang object. Let's have these examples. Number one. What is the position of the dog with regards to the car? Sa Tagalog, saan daw nakaposisyon ng dog kung ang batayan o panggagalingan natin ay ang car? With this question, ang car ang gagawin nating reference point. At dahil ito ang reference point natin, ito ang gagawin nating zero. Yung nasa kanan ng car will be positive, kaya yung school will be 10 meters since bawat line ng ating number line ay by 10 meters. Yung nasa kaliwa naman will be negative 10 meters, negative 20 meters, negative 30 meters, 
negative 40 meters and negative 50 meters. So now, going back to the question, what is the position of the dog with regards to the car? The answer will be negative 50 meters or 50 meters to the left. For number two, what is the position of the school with respect to the tree? With this question, ang reference point natin ay ang tree. And this will be our zero. Yung nasa kanan ng tree will be 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, 40 meters, and 50 meters. At yung nasa kaliwa naman will be negative 10 meters. Now, let's answer the question. What is the position of the school with respect to the tree? The answer will be 50 meters or 50 meters to the right. And for the last question, number 3. What is the position of the house with regards to the dog? Ang reference point natin dito ay yung dog. So this will be our zero. And those numbers na nasa right side niya will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60 meters. With that, the answer for this question is 30 meters or 30 meters to the right. Let's now proceed to your activity 1 in your module 1 for third quarter. In this activity, you will be able to describe the motion as the change in position and use point of reference as the basis for describing the position of an object. Kung paano natin sinagutan yung questions kanina, ganun nyo rin sasagutan yung activity na ito. Study the illustration first and answer the questions that follow. Sa inyong module, meron nang ibibigay na example. Sa example, ang question ay, what is the position of the frog with respect to the tree? The answer is negative 20 meters. Bakit? Kasi ang reference point ay yung tree, which is nasa zero na. So looking at the illustrations from zero, ang frog ay makikita sa 20 meters to the left, kaya ang sagot ay negative 20 meters. Let's try to answer number 1 and number 5. Sa so number 1, what is the position of the monkey with respect to the tree? The tree will be our reference point. From the tree, the monkey is located negative 10 meters or 10 meters to the left. So the answer will be negative 10. Pero pwede mo rin namang isulat yung 10 meters to the left. Kahit ano sa dalawang isagot mo, tama yun pareho. For number 5, ang question is, what is the position of the cow with respect to the monkey? Ang reference point natin ay yung monkey. Pwede mong sulatan ng pencil yung baba ng monkey at gawin mong zero. Ang cow ay nasa right side ng monkey. Mula sa zero, yung susunod na number papunta sa kanan will be the 10 meters. And yung pangalawa will be the 20 meters. At iyon ay ang position ng cow. So the answer for number 5 is 20 meters or 20 meters to the right. Try to answer the remaining questions of this activity. And if you have questions, mag-comment ka lang o mag-chat sa FB page natin. After describing the position of an object, let's now proceed to the word motion. Sa Tagalog, ang motion ay paggalaw. Masasabi natin na ang isang object ay in motion kapag siya ay gumalaw o nagpalit ng position. Let's take a look at this example. This car is at rest. Nakastop siya at 0 meters. Ito yung initial o unang position niya. In this part, we can say that the car moves from 0 meters to 10 meters in 5 seconds. Nung una, nakastop lang ang car. But after 5 seconds, it changes in position. Now, nasa 10 meters na siya. After 20 seconds, the car is now positioned at 40 meters. And after 30 seconds, it is now at 60 meters. Let's answer the question, was the car in motion? 
the answer is yes because there was a change in position. Nagpalit o nag-iba siya ng pwesto mula doon sa reference point which is yung bahay. Therefore, ang car ay nag-move. We define motion as the change in position of an object with regards to a reference point. From the given example, we can identify the initial position and the final position. The initial position is 0 and the final position is 60 meters. We can describe the motion of this car using this number line. Masasabi natin kung nasa ang position siya in a certain period of time. Let's answer the following questions. Number 1. What is the initial position of the car? Ano yung simulang position ng car? The initial position is 0. Number 2. What is the final position of the car? The final position is 60 meters. Number 3. What is the position of the car after 20 seconds? Car is at 40 meters in 20 seconds. Number 4. At what time did the car reach 10 meters? The answer will be 5 seconds. Now, try to answer the part B of your activity 1 in module 1 for third quarter. Again, for questions and clarifications, you may comment down below or message our FB page.